PGD stands for pre-implantation genetic diagnosis. And this is a procedure that's part of in vitro fertilization. Uh, the egg retrieval is done, and on about the third day, one single cell is removed from the embryo and can be tested. There are a number of reasons why uh, a couple may choose to do PGD. The most common would be a situation where husband and wife both carry abnormal genes for sickle cell disease or for cystic fibrosis. We can check the embryo and make sure that the embryos that are transferred back are not affected with this condition. PGD can also be used to check to make sure that the embryo has the correct number of chromosomes. PGD is utilized to try and pick the best embryos. Um, unfortunately, the technique is not 100% accurate, and we're only testing a portion of the embryos. So in younger women, the improvement in pregnancy rate is slight, but the older a woman gets, the more benefit there is to doing PGD in terms of improving implantation. So it's important that as part of the discussion about IVF, we go over, does PGD make sense? Is the cost of doing PGD worth the improvement in the uh, pregnancy rate that may occur? One of the things people ask when we do PGD is, are we telling, can we do this test to screen the embryo and see if it's normal? Um, we can do an aneuploidy screen, which will pick up the number of chromosomes. Is there an extra or missing chromosome? But we can only test 12 of 13 pairs. And that's going to tell us whether uh, the embryo has a good pregnancy uh, potential or not. But it is not testing all the genetic factors. So PGD doesn't tell us normal or abnormal. It's most effective in screening when we know a specific condition and the genetic abnormality that we're looking for.